Hi everyone, I want to show you a little bit about the Chrome Music Lab today. Um, I think it's a really cool place to do a lot of um, practice with creation, and that's going to be a big part of what we do this year, especially when we're coming from a virtual place. It's something we don't spend enough time on in regular music class in, when we're in the building, so this is going to be a great and a fun activity for you to be a part of. I'm just going to explore a couple of different uh, options here. Um, you're basically going to head to musiclab.chromeexperiments.com and I'm going to share the link with you so that's not going to be a problem. But once you're here you have def several different um, options that you can look at and check out. Um, there's a couple that are fantastic. This song maker right here, you can actually record what you make and share it with people. This shared piano, you can share links and then have more than one uh, player. So if you have someone in another house who wants to play with you, can, they can join on with you and you can record that too, which is really cool. Um, Spectrogram is really neat. It just um, has uh, different sounds that you can test out. You can use your voice. Ah. La, 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 la. So you can kind of see what your voice looks like. There's a flute. Drum machine. Birds are an amazing picture to see. So anyway, that's a really cool thing just to play around with to kind of see what you're doing. Um, this one is a great one to practice working on rhythms. Um, this one's in groups of three. three. One, two, three, one, two. Can add some different instruments. Or in this case, different pitches on the timpani. That gives you an idea. There's a couple of different sets of instruments and different um, groupings of beats, different time signatures. So it's kind of a cool thing. You can't record on this, but it's still cool anyway. I suggest you try that one out. Um, this one is also really neat. Uh, Kandinsky um, is drawing and creating different sounds. A really fun activity is to write your name um, here and then play it. So. That's Wilcox Freeberg for you, WF, that's me. You can uh, undo as you go, or you can just refresh it, head back. Um, so I would like you to take some time to check this out. It is really fun and fantastic. Eventually we're going to be doing a song maker um, composition. And this one is really neat because you can add um, sort of a, a, a rhythm percussion part at the bottom and um, other pitches on the other um, on other instruments. So for example, let's see, I want to be electronic. See, I've got four beats. I've got five beats here. So really, I'm just going to do something really short. Uh, let's see what we got so far. That's cool. I can add... So you can just kind of get an idea that you can make this pretty complex. There's some different settings over here um, where you can add different amount of time as far as how many, how many measures or how many bars you're going to use. So that's really neat too. Anyway, you don't need me to probably show you anything else about this. I have a feeling some of you have used this before, but um, that's going to be something I want you to kind of start making some, just some creating some ideas. Um, Yes, but I can save this and then I can share it too. So that's going to be something we're going to be working towards as music creators this year too. So anyway, um, that's a little bit about what I'm going to want you to do. I'm going to ask you to do a re little reflection about which um, activity you found to be the most satisfying as a creator yourself. So 
uh, enjoy and have fun creating music.